Hello everyone, freeprescriptionlenses.com here. I am Seymour Better, the hardest working optician in the industry. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm able to see Mo Better look and Mo Better and show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. And I just want to take a moment out today to do a little FYI comparison um, on the types of edge finishes, edge treatments you can get. I have a silhouette here in my left hand. I have my personal silhouette frames from a few years ago, back when I was wearing other people's brands. I started designing my own frames and I wear mine now, so I don't wear these anymore. But Jay in Slaughter, Louisiana got these and he requested a polished edge. You can see how shiny that is all the way around both lenses. I have a non-polished lens in mine. It's called a satin, well just non-polished. Non <laughs> Sorry, let's try this again. Ding round two, non-polished lenses. Polished, non-polished. So, what is the difference? The pros and cons of both. They're both, let's start by saying they're both free. Whatever you want, I'll polish the edges. That's what Jay wanted. That's what Jay got. The reason why, and I'm going to get on my soapbox for a minute, I did not polish the edge of my lenses, is that it actually can let glare in through the lens. Now, we both have anti-glare treatment on both lenses. I have uh, Crizol Provencia on this one. This one's from a few years ago. And Jay got uh, the Zeiss Duravision Chrome. It doesn't matter which anti-glare treatment you get. Anti-glare reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, fluorescent lights, overhead lights, above. Now the purpose of anti-glare is not to allow glare into the lens. They're both front and surface coatings. So if a light source is behind you, you can see the curvature of the lens. It reflects off the lens back into your eye from the back of the lens or the front. Now, you're paying to have no glare on the front and the back. When it's polished at the top, fluorescent lights or any light source can now come in. I had a truck driver who was driving a 18-wheeler one time and uh, he was getting an orange glow in his right lens and that's because he realized that his radio, CB, whatever it is, electronic device in his 18-wheeler had an orange face to it, not, not the green like most have or blue. The orange was coming in the right lens only. He said he never had glare out of the left, only the right, and he figured out it was from his radio because of the color spectrum, that orange. So, and he got the glasses because he wanted the lightest weight thing. He's sitting in a big heavy-duty cab vibrating all day long and some of his glasses would slide down his nose. There's nothing lighter weight than the silhouette. So, I've, I've my very first pair of silhouettes I got a few years before this pair. And I think I made these in about 2017. Someone else, Bo, um, who in Lawrence, Kansas, the video I just made, like this shape and uh, he wanted the same as that one. I don't recall the model of this one. This one is 7431 because I just did a video on it. But I'll have to go back and look at uh, my video from 2017 to get that model number of this one. So that's why I'm not a fan of polished edges. Now the pros of polished edges. People say that from the side. Let me switch glasses here. From the sides, let me grab this, that cosmetically it looks better. And for the sake of argument, I'll say that it does, but how many people are looking at your ear or the side of your glasses? Most people are looking at you directly on, so they're not going to see that. But Jay had worn polished edges before in his silhouettes. It did not bother him. I reached out to him and I explained the difference in emails, but this time I actually wanted to do a video showing you, the, showing you both. So, polished edges for free, non-polished edges for free. You decide. Again, the question is, do you want to look good? Do you want to look better or see better? I personally believe you will see better out of a non-polished lens. It does not let the glare in through the top or the edges or any direction. Laying in a hammock, anything like that, a beach chair, the glare will not come in, whereas this one will. But if you've been wearing it and it doesn't bother you, then I'll do it for you for free. If you haven't gotten it yet and you're not sure, I just recommend getting the non-polished look Again, how many people look at the side of your head or look at your profile and are just so intent at looking at the edge of your lenses? Now, that's something to consider in a full rimless frame such as the Silhouette Drill Mount or in a semi-rimless frame here demonstrated by the Ray-Ban 6370. 
you can opt uh, to have a polished or non-polished lens. I know that I'm putting the onus on you to decide what you want. I've made tens of thousands of pairs of glasses in my lifetime. I've, uh, when I worked in retail, I've had people do glare and I said, uh, imagine you're looking in a storefront window where you put your hands cupped against your eyes and you're looking into the window. I had them do that over their glasses. And I said, do you still see the glare? And they said, no, it goes away. So it's the glare from overhead lights they're seeing in their lenses. So that's it. I just wanted to give everyone to uh, explain how that works and let you decide. I can't decide for you. So I can just make the glasses however you want me to make them. So that's it. If you have any questions, go to the Contact Us page of the website. You can email um, yeah, you can email us that way at directly at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. You can call Jigsaw, my web developer slash apprentice slash uh, linguist expert at 919-4911. He'll answer questions in any language. If you like to text in English only, you can text me at that number. I answer all text messages. Jigsaw answers the phone. You can leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But that is it. So I'm just putting the information out there for you to decide. I should put this on our Frequently Asked page. Frequently Asked Questions. And uh, hopefully that will save us a phone call or email when you purchase a silhouette frame. Or any other semi realness. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And now hopefully everyone's gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you. <laughs>